26. Right now, more than 300 current and retired Missouri sheriffs say they will have no retirement fund in roughly eight years. Next month at the polls, you'll decide how their pensions are funded. Some say this will cause law enforcement to prey on citizens. First Lord Forrest Dion Broxton explains. Retired Franklin County Sheriff Gary Talkey wants to stay retired, but he says the future of his retirement pension is in jeopardy. If this thing goes belly up in eight years, uh, we're not really crazy about having to go back to work. Next month, Missouri residents can vote to allow Missouri sheriffs and top prosecutors to collect court fees again for salaries and retirement funds. Franklin County Sheriff and President of the Missouri Sheriff's Association, Steve Pelton, says Missouri deputies are under a different pension plan because prosecutors and sheriffs are elected and not appointed like in some other states. The support of Amendment 6 will ensure that we got our brightest and best people running for sheriff. Seems like the Groundhog Day where you keep waking up and the same stuff keep popping back up all over again. Adolphus Pruitt with the NAACP points to numerous Missouri Supreme Court decisions limiting or banning court fees to pay for governmental departments. The DOJ determined was one of the direct causes of the conditions that created the atmosphere in which we lost Mike Brown. In 2021, the Missouri Supreme Court ruled using fees to fund prosecutors and sheriff's pensions is unconstitutional. Pruitt believes if voters say yes to Amendment 6, it will incentivize sheriffs and prosecutors' offices to convict more citizens. It's illegal in the state of Missouri to have a ticket quota. The fees would amount to about $7 per conviction. Since the fees were erased in 2021, sheriffs currently pay 5% of their salaries to the fund, but they say it's still dwindling every year. Let the legislature do it. We, we, we legislate money <laughs> and budget it for all sorts of things. Missouri Senator Rusty Black sponsored this legislation. Voters will decide on November 5th. We're kind of, you know, hung out to dryer in limbo, I guess you would say. Dion Broxton, first alert for. And First Lord Four contacted the bill's sponsor. We asked him to explain why issue court fees instead of budgeting funds for pensions. We're still waiting to hear back.